Welcome back to CityWorks, brought to you by the many hardworking men and women of the Department of Public Works. Underneath our city streets, there is a vast complex of pipes designed to carry our stormwater to the ocean. Urban runoff, as it is called, is a contributing factor to ocean pollution because careless citizens dump toxic chemicals and other pollutants into our storm drains. Let's take a look at what the Department of Public Works Bureau of Sanitation is doing to prevent stormwater pollution. The storm drain system was built in the 1930s and 40s as a flood control system. The water that goes into this system is not treated because it was not meant to be treated. The storm drain system begins in your neighborhood, it begins on the street where you live, it begins with the street gutters and the cross gutters in our alleys and our streets. And these uh, are all funneled into your catch basin, which is usually found on a street corner. Um, from there it goes underground into a system of a network of pipes that's about 1,500 miles of pipes that connect to open channels like Bayona Creek, like the LA River. It's about 150 miles of open channels in the, in the city of LA. Channels drain out to either the Santa Monica Bay, which is Bayona Creek, or down to Long Beach via the LA River. When we have a rainstorm here in Los Angeles, we can have upwards of tens of billions of gallons of water that are flowing through our regional waterways. And to treat that water during the rainiest time of the year would, would be impossible. The city of Los Angeles has more than 35,000 catch basins throughout the entire city. And our, our crews go out and clean these catch basins on a daily basis. See it like that, and uh, on a day like today where it's very warm, you know you're gonna be in for a little bit of work and it's gonna be a little sweaty. Either pick out large litter by hand or we'll just go with the vacuum. Uh, this good old vector truck, very strong, very good. And we'll just start vacuuming debris out, shoveling it towards the pipe and just sucking it out, sucking it out. The city is cleaning out catch basins. We're putting 12,000 screens on our catch basins to keep the trash out. Use the water hose when we encounter like mud or muck or something compacted. Just use the water to loosen it up. With the mud, we try to direct it towards the pipe and, and bring it up. When we finish with this, it's going to be bare concrete on all the walls. I mean, some days you can get 15, some days you can get uh, 50. It depends on how much trash is in there and how compacted. When you see a catch basin that is clogged like this, it creates a huge amount of flooding when it rains and that costs the city money as well. The Bureau of Sanitation makes uh, an honest effort, a very aggressive effort to try to clean out every catch basin at least once or twice a year, but we can't, we can't be there every single minute of every day to catch every article of trash or litter that gets onto our streets. So it's really the responsibility of the residents, the public, to make sure litter and waste and our pesticides and our toxins are being disposed of properly. What you see here is uh, Bayona Creek, and as you can as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of waste on the banks here. A lot of styrofoam cups and plates and bottles and cans, just litter and waste stuff that that should have been placed in a in a trash bin, right, to begin with. What it won't screen out are again, you know, the the liquids, the toxins, the chemicals, the dissolved waste that are just getting funneled right through by the current into the, uh, the ocean and, and polluting our ocean water and our, our marine life. Do recycle your cans and bottles. Do bring your household chemicals and hazardous waste to the city's uh, safe centers. Do keep litter and trash and waste out of the, the streets and out of the catch basins. And do tell a friend about this because it's only going to take us spreading the word and getting the message out there before we can actually see real results. Even if you live 30 miles from the beach, your actions have a huge impact on the quality of, of our beaches. And so that's why it's so important for residents to do their part. The city is doing its part. It's really a partnership between the city and the residents. A lot of these catch basins, they can clean them out one week and they come back the next week and they're filled with trash again. I like swimming in the ocean and I don't like this filth going down into the ocean and that's eventually where it's going to wind up. We want to enjoy our natural resources and in, in being Los Angeles, that's the ocean. 
right, the beaches. But we have litter and trash and chemicals going in the water. So what happens when we go to the beach? It's closed, we go in, we, we get sick, right? Or visually, aesthetically, we just can't enjoy the natural environment. It takes everybody to be personally responsible for their own actions and their own waste to make sure that in the future we don't have ocean pollution or stormwater pollution. To report clogged catch basins or to learn more about stormwater pollution prevention, you may dial 311 or 800-974-9794. That's 311 or 800-974-9794.